And so you think you can dance? After a nationwide search for the country's top dancers, we've seen the best. And we've seen the worst. It is hideous. At the end, we came away with 40 dancers who must now prove to five of the best choreographers in Australasia that they really can dance, with the top 16 only going through to the studio competition. It's going to be tough. Basically, you're being thrown in the deep end. What? Ah. Uh, uh. No, no. Hi everyone and welcome on into So You Think You Can Dance. Here, go on, kick off your Sunday shoes, New Zealand, because now the going gets tough. And when the going gets tough, the tough need to get going. Yes, tonight the country's 40 top dancers are going back to school. It's five days of dance camp hell. <laughs> That'll be good too. These dancers have travelled from all over the country to gather here at the Auckland Performing Arts Centre. They'll check in, check each other out, then check the schedule to see how the week works. From two, what's the answer? Do you know any of them? No. Now, 40 remaining dancers have been broken up into five different groups. They'll learn five different dance styles over five different days with five different choreographers. They'll do Latin, contemporary, ballroom, hip hop, and jazz. And they have to be good at all of them. Every day they'll have to shine because every day they'll be tested and at the end of the week they'll have to dance again to convince the judges they should be in the top 16. Only the most talented and the most determined will survive. I believe it's going to be a challenge. I haven't danced sort of four days before, let alone sort of five in a row. I think I'll go good. I'm definitely expecting to get through. Uh, so yeah. This competition is definitely something I want to do. It's something I want to win too, you know. And winning is what it is all about. Our lucky winner will fly Qantas to LA where they will receive one-on-one -on -one masterclasses with some of the world's top choreographers. They will also receive a talent agreement from Block Agency, America's leading dance representatives. Here we go. This group is starting the week in the hip-hop class with choreographer Tui Manuel. My choreography in general tends to be quite fast. It's quite militant. People who are not used to hip-hop will probably struggle. Right shoulder to the back, come all the way around to the front, step in on your right side, pop. 20-year-old Daniel from Rangiora is in this group. His spontaneous tap dance and sneakers at the Wellington auditions impress the judges. He's fairly impressive at the hip hop too, by the look of things. Dance means pretty much everything to my life, really. It's just like eating, it's the same thing as dancing. You know, I'd rather dance than eat. My dream is to be the best ever tap dancer known to the whole world that's ever lived. I believe I can do it. Dan's the man. He's got a really smooth, really nice style, and I think he's going to do really well in the competition. <laughs> my lowest ranking was Jevin. Jevin danced the cha-cha in Wellington, but this is a whole new ball game. I'm struggling to catch up with the hip-hop, and I just want to be able to do it. Like, it's just so, like, frustrating that I'm busy trying to keep up with the hip-hop dancers, and they've got it hands down. And I want to dance like them, and it's just like, ah, I still can't do it. <sighs> Driving me crazy. <laughs> Meanwhile, the ballroom class are attempting the quick step with choreographer Marie Rand. We're doing it. Oh, yeah. Hip-hop at Kuru could be expected to struggle. You know, he did a good audition in Auckland, but he wasn't dancing ballroom. But so far, so good. Well done. OK, move along, one four. <laughs> a little rough, almost fell on my face just before, but we're going there, we're getting there. I'm really impressed with Koro because he's a, a hip-hopper who's a big guy and he's doing fabulous things and he's got a fabulous smile and I'm really happy when he gets things right, so... Latin has this reputation of being fiery and hot and sexy. And I'm not just talking about the dancing. The tension in here is incredible. There's certainly not a lot of love loss between our dancers and the choreographers. The 
The dancers are failing to pick up the steps and choreographers Giancarlo and Marsha Johansson are not happy. It couldn't be a worse time for the judges to arrive to check out the dancers. And really listen to what we're saying. When I say it to you, don't just look at me and go, yes, you're not really listening to me. So it needs to go from hearing it to doing it, not hearing it, processing, 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 then do it. Only monkeys make the same mistake twice. We're having trouble with them because salsa has a lot of partner work, connected work. We're not getting that from them. Penelope, when she came in, she's got a lot of energy. As soon as she comes in a room, presence. However, with that came a bit of attitude. They thought I had a bad attitude, which really did surprise me because I think it was more based on how they talked. They went just so fast that we all struggled. I mean, some people got it, but it was a, a bit of a struggle for them to just bump up their volume in such a short space of time. Seriously, seriously, try and remember the routine. We don't have much time, okay? Again. Shenny, cheeks, seven, eight, pull, two, three, now! Ah! The jazz class is underway under the eagle eye of Australasian legend Louis George. Ah, oh, attack. So you've got to attack the last one, you know what I mean? For people who's never danced a jazz class before, they'll freak out a bit. You've got to be able to just boom. Splits are very difficult. Coming out of a double turn into splits is a bit dangerous, eh? It requires a bit of flexibility. Otherwise, something's going to go pop. A lot of us in our class got injuries, yet we're all sitting there pulling out the classes by the end of it. Shanika danced jazz in her audition, so today is her lucky day. I mean, dancing's been like a huge part of my life. I mean, like, you know, you, I've been dancing since I was a toddler, since I could like pretty much walk. I've always wanted to go overseas and, you know, experience more dance out there and do professional work, dance as a professional. Having to work super hard because, you know, I want it that bad. Today, yeah, Shanika was outstanding for me. Very focused and at the same token, really listening to me and never stop. I love that because that means it's sinking in. Temati's the least experienced dancer here, but he makes up for it with enthusiasm. He did the whole thing, you know, whatever, eight eights or ten eights that we did, but none of my Cory came out. But he finished right on time, but just totally different choreography. Oh, I actually find it quite enjoyable. He's got to practice it. <laughs> Don't forget, the judges will be turning up to every class every day to make their assessments. And all one, two, one, two. This group is being introduced to Contemporary. The floor works a bit of a shock. When we got here and found out I was coming to Contemporary, I thought it was going to be like coming out of the mother's womb or something. <laughs> First thing she says is drop on the floor and roll down the room. And I was like, are you being serious? <laughs> two, good, Nikki, good. Nikki's not used to this sort of dance. He's a straight-up hip-hopper from the auditions in Auckland. My dream is just for people in China to see me, people in America to be talking about me, people in Japan and Hong Kong and all over the world. I want people to be remembering me when I'm 60, when I'm 70, and have a big funeral like Princess Diana. Nicky, to start with, he was finding it very difficult um, to get in and out of the floor, but by the end of the day, I was really impressed he was able to catch up. The dancing's frenetic, the pace is intense, and this is only the beginning. At the end of the day, the foyer looks like a convention of the walking wounded. I'll tell you how my feet are, eh? they're just, they're great. Some skin is uh, ripping off and uh, got heaps of plasters on, so it's a good time. Well, as you can see, today's been um, very tiresome. But take a good look around, everybody's kind of dead. They all want to go home. And she made my toes sore, my fingernails, the tip of my hair. Oh, this has been the hardest, and it's only day one. Amber's a refugee from the contemporary class. Oh, oh my God. And the whole thing is sore, and it's real tender. My poor little daughter. She's committed to dancing. There are still four days to go. Will the pressure be too much? After the break, Louis loses his temper. I don't know what that is. That's not dancing, OK? What are you doing? You're killing me. And the dancers lose their nerve. Oh, he's left the room and he's yelling and... <laughs> God, I'm scared. So you think you can dance? 
day two at Tapak. Hey, it doesn't matter what the weather's like, the dancers will be too busy to notice. Today, the groups all change classes to learn a new routine. So sore, and um, at least I'm not hungry. <laughs> my back is killing me, my arms are killing me, my legs. Actually, I've never been this sore in my life, and I've done weights training. Our alarms went off this morning, and <laughs> in the hotel, none of us like, got up. We were like, oh, I can't move. <laughs> uh, I'm really sore. And it's my birthday today, yay! One, two, three. Five, six, seven. Aches and pains have to be forgotten as classes start for the day. One, two, three, four, five, six, go! You're gonna do another little bounce, so boom, and it's only tiny, so yeah, from about here to shoulder height. He's going to be going round me. And one, up. I don't know what that is. That's not dancing, okay? In the jazz class, never one to mince words, Louis begins as he means to go on. Watch your line, okay? They're, they're everywhere, guys. It's very easy. It's not difficult. My beginner's class can do that. No, no. That was your left leg, Leonard. What are you doing? What are you doing? You're killing me. Leonard's not liking this. His attitude and confidence were well on display at his Auckland audition. My goal is to be number one in the world in Latin and ballroom. I haven't started dancing that long ago, and as soon as I started dancing, I knew something was missing from my life. Message out to New Zealanders, parents, get your kids to dance as early as they can. It's just the best thing in the world. The other Latin American dancer, Dasha, is next on Louis' hit list. Oi, oi, what, what's this? I didn't do that. Yeah, I didn't do that. What's this? Come on. Yeah, don't swim for me, okay? One more time, please, back here. I'm just trying to keep, keep up for now. And, yeah. yeah. See? You're making a little S fever. Nothing pleases Louis today. Everyone's like this, you know? No line whatsoever. I think, uh, I don't think they're gonna like me today, unfortunately. When you put your arms around me, I get a fever that's so... I think we're gonna have to take a break. I'll be back in a tick. Louis leaves to calm his temper, while the dancers are left to calm their nerves. He's getting impatient for that. Oh, well, he's left the room and he's yelling and... <laughs> God, I'm scared. The atmosphere in the Latin class today is fantastic. It's a complete contrast to yesterday. I I'm going to have a blast today. I really am. I'm very happy. <laughs> That's because there are three ballroom dancers in today's group. Bonnie and Tobias are right into it. However, the third one, Jevin, He's struggling a bit. We're learning salsa and this real complicated hand movements. It's like, and I don't know what I'm doing. Not so Daniel and Sangtip, who look like salsa's their first language. The class that failed in Latin yesterday are stepping it up in the ballroom today. Naturally experienced ballroom dancer Blair is the standout, with partner Zoe a close second. She managed to achieve a, a, a really good standard, so much so that I actually you know, looked at, at her dancing and thought, I could actually see you being on a competition floor. Well done. Well done. However, in the contemporary class, another ballroom dancer, Natalie, is out of her depth. It's just nothing that I'm used to, you know, ballroom, like, I'm so up and this is all, like, floor work and free and I'm used to, like, controlled arms and everything and this is all so loose. All the floor work's killer. And I've heard stories from all the other competitors going, watch out for contemporary, <laughs> wear knee pads. <laughs> Louis has calmed down and returned, but it's not long before the temperature rises again. You're on your own now, matey. Let's go. Wow, Leonard really needs to redeem himself in Louis' eyes. I don't really know what you were doing there, yeah? Corey wasn't there. The timing was out, so... But that's, that's what you did, so... Okay. All right. Next one, please. And to add to the pressure, the judges are watching and assessing. Fever. Guys, the, the timing's out. I don't know what's going on here, yeah? Nicky is so intimidated by Louis, he completely loses it. Are we done? Yeah, sorry. Oh. Are, you, are we done? Yeah. So we're done, are we? Yeah. Next one, please. 
like a lot of us today, they said that we all discussed it as a group and we were like, we don't feel like dancers today. Okay, Justin, let's go. Like Nicky, Justin's a hip hopper. So will he fail jazz class too? He was a standout at the Auckland auditions and dancing means everything to him. If I don't end up kind of doing it, I just kind of start waving while I talk to people or just kind of, hey, how's it going? What are you up to? <laughs> kind of thing, you know? Today's a test of Justin's talent. How will he fare with a hard-hearted Louis? For some reason, this guy has got this energy. The way he does things, he's so focused. There's this, this, this magic, and it's raw. It's not something, it's not technically brilliant, but there's something special about that guy. Tui's got everyone up and at it at the hip hop class. Contemporary dancer Anita is very experienced, but not at this genre. Well, I was uh, trained as a ballerina, so it's kind of the other end of the spectrum. Michaela has a jazz background, but it's not only the change of style that's the problem. Michaela's really struggling. Um, because even like Anita, who doesn't look like she'd be a, as natural a mover as Michaela, she's actually just doing better because she can remember the sequence, whereas Michaela can't actually remember it at all. For me, I just, yeah, I haven't done that much hip-hop, but I really like it, but I'm just not a person that picks up things easily. But that's alright. I also have to practice. <laughs> if there's music on, I have to get up and like, have to move. I just love movement. It's like... You're not thinking about anything, so if you've got any problems or anything, you go and dance and you're not thinking about, this is all, it's all psh, out the door and you just do your thing and try and knock the socks off people watching, which is cool. <laughs> After lunch, we came back in, I broke the choreography down for her and she just went from zero to like 10. One and two and three and go! Face the back and shake it, oh, oh! Yeah, I've got three more days of everything else that I haven't done as well as trying to pick up what I've just learnt today, so it'll be tough, but I'm going to do it. <laughs> At the end of another agonising day, the dancers get a well-deserved massage, and they'll need it, because tomorrow the judges will single out the bottom ten dancers and tell them they're not up to standard. Relaxed. Spent. <laughs> After the break, who will be bottom of the class? Let's face it, you are letting me down. I was expecting much more from you two. You guys have to try harder. The top 40 are halfway through the week, but every day is just like Groundhog Day. It's beautiful. <laughs> I'm so tired and my body hates me. It's not talking to me right now. I think we've all had to kind of roll out of bed as opposed to sitting up, you know? Here we go. <laughs> it's in the middle of the week, everybody's very, very tired, uh, physically, mentally. So that's, that's where people start, start cracking, they start crying, they basically lose the path. Three days into five days of intensive auditions, some dancers are coping with the range of choreography, but others are failing. Ten are about to be told they're not up to standard. So, with only two days to go before the judges say who has achieved enough to be in the top 16, everyone is on notice. Going from class to class, the judges will identify the overall bottom ten. Sort of halfway through the week here, it's time for a little reality check, right? What we got is we just got the actual points from choreographers for the first two days. Lowest mark so far over two days, Dasha. And second, second lowest point, Leonid. I know you're both ballroom Latin dancers. The end of the week is going to be much better for you. But I was expecting much more from you two. Let's face it, you are letting me down. You're letting all the ballroom Latin dancers down here. Thank you very much, everybody. That's all for me. Leonard's usual self-confidence deserts him. And Dasha is devastated. It's only that much, that hard I can push myself. Especially since I had not had training for the past half year. But, yeah. Like the unwelcome visitor, Hari continues his rounds naming the lowest performing dancers. Louise, Penelope, Andy. I'm just going to really rely on my instincts and my potential. I want dancing to be my career and that's what I really want to do. And if this comp can do that for me, then I'm, I'm going to really try to pursue it. Jawan and Alisa. 
all the um, pressure of early mornings and learning new routines, it's kind of like getting you almost to a breaking point like, like this and then hearing that, it's kind of... Nothing's impossible, you know? I mean, man has walked on the moon, so I can get into the top 16, but it's going to be really hard. Michael singled out popular novice Timati. I mean, I think you've got a natural talent. You just have no training whatsoever. It's just that you haven't been able to hold it up with all the other dancers. Yeah. Lastly, Liana gave the bad news to Mei Ling and Pascal. You know, you've really got to step up your game. The news hit Pascal hard, and afterwards she lost her nerve in the jazz routine. Kiss me, fever when you hold me tight. Fever. I'm quite annoyed at myself because um, I could do a lot better. And, you know, if I wasn't so focused on I have to perform or else I'm out, you know, I'm on the edge. If I wasn't so focused on that, then it might have been all right. But then she came and said that, she said, you know, you've got to step it up and everything, you know. And I thought, oh, gee, I've got to step it up, you know, I've got to do this. And it must have made me crack. It's quite strange discovering this about myself and I'm going to have to figure out a way to get over it. These ten will have to step up their performance and that will put the pressure on the others, all chasing a place in the top 16. From here on in, the days merge into one. Every routine is an audition and every day another chance to make good. I mean, the last three days have been fine, just with these little mishaps in between, but today I'm... Actually, I'm just waiting for the next drama to happen. <laughs> Break my toe or something. <laughs> Nikki's mishaps included being late on the first day, Got lost in Auckland traffic and I was like an hour and a half late for the others to meet them at the bus. Being sick in the hip hop class. Mm. Everything's just coming up every five minutes. Every time I try to move, it's like. <sighs> and falling apart in jazz. So no wonder he's nervous. For others, they're up one day and down the next. Like Daniel, who disgraced himself in contemporary by turning up with a hangover. He just was complete mess in my class. He couldn't pick the material up and it was, I was like, okay, what's going on? And he was up till two o'clock this morning drinking tequila. Mm. I thought it was pretty disrespectful coming into the class. I mean, he's only got that one day to learn the technique. Coming in, hungover was not so flash. It's a difficult class. His nickname's changed from Dan the man's badass Dan. Just as well he gets another chance the next day in Louis' jazz class. And five, six, good boy. That's what you should all look like, honestly. On the last day, Jason suffers a hamstring injury, which hopefully won't ruin his chances. I've had an injury similar to this before and um, can go on for a few weeks. Quite a problem in a way. Nikki's prediction something would happen to him unfortunately comes true. Can you not fill my private parts? <laughs> oh, no, that's so mad. A badly judged kick from his partner puts him out of action in Latin. But some, like contemporary dancer Anita, consistently shone. I came along to be a DV logger, and then suddenly I was one of the dancers. So it's a big adventure. I'm really enjoying the adventure that I'm having. Her ballet background gave her an edge in every class. To me, dance it was just a manifestation of energy because through me, you can kind of see you know, universal energy flowing, flowing through my body. And so for me, that's what dance is. It's just within me, I just love to move. If music comes on, I cannot help it. Do you know what I mean? It's just within your system. Dasha pulled it together and made a comeback dancing with Justin in the Latin class. There was a smile on her face, her eyes. She was, she was performing. Yeah, she really came out. She was one of the better ones in there. But Justin lost brownie points when he lost interest in the hip hop class. Today, Justin left for sort of, oh, I'd say, nearly close to 10 minutes. And that was, he probably did that in a, a total of five or six times throughout the day. He didn't ask to be excused, he just left. Um, and then when I'd actually say, OK, guys, jump up, we're going to go through the choreography from the beginning, he decided at that moment it was his time to go outside and get some fresh air. If I had to nail it down, I'd probably say he was, yeah, a bit arrogant. It was more just tired, eh? And it's like, oh, I don't want to really do this, like, because I thought I had it in the bag. And while Penelope pulled out all the stops in Louis' class, she didn't quite pull it off for him. She was doing really great. She was working really hard. She was very receptive as well. But at the end of the day, she just lost it. There's a talent there. It's just that sometimes she doesn't really know where to put it. Some of the dancers, like Katie, got discovered on the last day. Katie was just the most blank person in the class all day. I wanted to see some personality, but then when I asked her to perform, whoo, she was there. <laughs> At this late stage, they all need to be there. The 
dancing's relentless and the pain is ongoing, but eventually five days of dancing their hearts out comes to an end. It's a bit raw and blistered. Scabby. And scabby. Oh, jeez. I think it was uh, from contempt, but it's just come to life. It's beautiful. I know, you're all jealous. That's right. However, a new kind of agony is about to begin. There are 40 dancers, but only 16 places. Am I going to be one of the top 16? Well, I hope so. That's, that's the plan. I don't know. I could be borderline and I could have blown my chances. Getting some good feedback and, um, yeah, so feeling all right. Feeling pretty cool, pretty calm. Tomorrow I will be great. <laughs> Tomorrow those 16 will be named, but before then everyone will spend their last night brushing up one of the routines they've learnt during the week. The dance has been randomly chosen for them by the judges, so tomorrow each dancer will perform their routine, either solo or in pairs, before finding out their fate. After the break, who will stay and who will go? So you think you can dance? After five days of rigorous training in our five dance styles, today our 40 contestants have to perform one final routine as selected by the judges. Nerves are catching up with me a little bit now, but yeah, I think it's just everyone will be like that today. I was quite relaxed this morning, then I got nervous and hyped and got real amped. It's so nerve wracking and you know, I'd like to get in, but I'm not sure if I will, it's crazy. I'm so exhausted, but it's 30 seconds and I have to just pull it out on that stage and it's not hard, so... Just hope it's a yes, you're through. Please be a yes. Meanwhile, the judges are reviewing the comments and scores from the choreographers to help them make their decision about who should be in the top 16. Now, being an expert in contemporary, Michael is passionate about his thoughts on what is going to make a good dancer for this competition. He is just such a charmer. Um, and gives everything a go. Um, I think he could be a really good all-round dancer. Least points in the ball. They have to be able to dance any style that's thrown Contemporary at them. Contemporary dancers are not so good in ballroom and Latin American no, dancing. Not. Well, the judges are having their final discussions, and by the sound of it, I'm not thinking they're in total agreement with each other. Hari's arguing that being good at contemporary doesn't necessarily mean being good at ballroom. Steps are going to get much more difficult from here. Routines are going to get much more difficult. Partnering is going to get much more difficult. All these people are going to fall apart, right? They're going to do more floor work than you want to see. And they're going to do it in a ballroom and Latin American dancing because they fall over. While the judges fight it out, the dancers are waiting for their very last chance to try and make it into that top 16. Yeah, we've been waiting for um, yeah, about over an hour and a half now since they put us in this room. No word of anything. I think they're just sitting out there just like laughing at us or something, eh? <laughs> you can cut the ear in here with a knife. It's judgment day. Our top 40 dancers are about to become just 16. It's been a nerve-wracking wait for everyone, but apparently the judges have put their differences aside and are ready to see the first couple, Dasha and Thomas. Nervous. Very, very, very nervous. Oh, yeah. They're both ballroom dancers who've had some difficulties in other disciplines. Midweek, Dasha fell into the bottom ten and Thomas struggled at hip-hop, but they're both in their element dancing the quick step. Given the judges' argument about contemporary versus ballroom, will either be a winner? struggled a lot with the other dance forms and I mean when you do your own thing like you've just done you look great that last pose wasn't convincing for me sorry I have to tell you you're not on the bottom of the list anymore but um, I think you should stick with your own style you're not in our 16 unfortunately I did not get in Tom you're a real borderline case here we had a quite argument over you but um, we decided that you do have something special there, so congratulations, you're going to be in the 16. I made it, I made it, they like me. Top 16, so I'm back. Yeah, a bit disappointed, but you got it! Oh my God! Well done! Nicky's back on stage doing his good old favourite hip hop, but it's the work he's done during the week that will count. Nicky, that was hot. 
Throughout this week, I've absolutely loved your passion, your enthusiasm. You have so much drive, and that's that's the kind of person I want to see in this competition. Well done. Congratulations. You have through to 16. Stomach and throwing up and all that don't mean shit. Pascal fell apart when told she was in the bottom 10. She rallied later in hip-hop and salsa, but now she's doing the difficult contemporary routine. So will this help or hinder her chances? Thanks, Pascal. Um, good try, still loads to work on in that contemporary routine. There were quite a few timing issues there, and still the quality isn't there. There's, you know, you've got to find that softness. I think you showed some great promise in Wellington, and you just um, have not delivered. So you won't be going forward to the final 16. Okay. Thanks very much. Jason is still nursing a hamstring injury and has decided not to dance. It's time to you know, face the music and hope that the judges have seen enough. If not, it's all good. It's been a good week, so uh, scary times. So I don't know what to say to them, eh? Puts us in a little bit of a, an awkward situation because, you know, we're, we're relying on these dancers as well as the the performance throughout the week to help us make our decisions. I've really enjoyed your enthusiasm and your energy in all the classes. I love how you give everything you've got and that was particularly noticeable in hip hop. That's not your forte but you know what you stepped it up and I really enjoyed it. What you've shown us during the week makes us sure that we would love to have seen you in the in the top 16. So what is their final decision? Congratulations, you have to 16. I don't know whether it's a good thing or not, but yeah, definitely a... Justin started the week on a high with everyone singing his praises, but he offended choreographer Tui in the hip-hop class when he showed his indifference to her routine. Will this have affected his outcome? I'm really worried about your attitude. I mean, you've had professional experience, and then when I came into that hip-hop class that day, you were sitting down and strolling in and out of class. It was so disrespectful for the teacher. So I'm in such a quandary, you know, that was such, such a beautiful performance. But you, you really do need to find a work ethic. You're sort of a real mystery to all of us. You're sort of blowing hot and cold. Um, luckily for you, I would all like to see you reach your potential. So congratulations, you're going to make it to 16. Pretty good. Pretty, pretty sweet as. That was just ten times better than you even did on, on, on Monday. It was exquisite. Oh, I tell you what, mate. Top 16. <laughs> good times, good times. And the dancers just kept on coming. Still not happening for you, and you won't be going through. There's a lack of focus, a lack of precision there. Sorry, you won't be coming through to the final 16. You won't be going forward to the final 16 with us. Fun, comfort, and pain, all pleasures the same. This is the end of the road for you, and you will not be joining the final 16. Like Dorian Gray. We've made the decision that you won't be going forward. Congratulations, you have through to 16. Oh, thank you. I wish I could walk through the door of my mind. You're an exciting dancer and we're glad that you're going into the final 16. Thank you. Oh, memory close at hand. Help me understand the years. I'm happy to say that Dunedin is going to be represented by Amber in our Thank final you. 16. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you guys. Heaven and ah. hell. I'm just conserving my energy because we've just been waiting for hours and hours to dance. So everyone's just zoning down. Penelope had a stressful week. On day one, she had a run-in with the Latin tutors who criticised her attitude. Then, middle of the week, she hit the bottom ten. 
But her partner today, Blair, is an experienced ballroom dancer and they are cutting a dash with their quick step. Will this be another split decision? Blair, you're um, a wonderful person and also you're a great ballroom dancer. Also, you give everything a go. Unfortunately, that's not enough for this competition, so I'm sorry, you're not going any further. Thank you everyone for the opportunity and yeah, it's been a great time. Take this opportunity with me for the rest of my life. So Penelope, I, f I, I find you impressive to begin with and then I find I move to disappointment. Mm -hmm. I have to agree with Michael, I think you all show and no action. I'm sorry, you're not in our 60s. I only did this for fun. I only did the show for fun. As I said, I didn't even expect to get through to the Wellington audition. <laughs> Why do you do that when you cry? You can't breathe. <laughs> After the break, there are more shocks ahead as the judges continue to deliver their verdicts. I'm sorry, you're not going to 16. So you think you can dance? The top 40 dancers are gradually being culled down to 16. Natalie and Joshua are next to face the judges and their fate. I've been to the bathroom about 20 times already and I need to go again. <laughs> I'm just nervous. So here we are on the last day of our competition thing. Oh, and, sweet. and we're just gonna have fun. Because yeah. I got a woman <laughs> way <Yeah>. over town. <laughs> good to me. Natalie has spent many years honing up her ballroom skills, but not much else. Whereas Joshua, he's a hip hopper whose ballroom experience amounts to only one day. What will be the verdict? Your transformation from hip hopper to ballroom dancer has been absolutely amazing. Well done. Um, unfortunately, that's not enough. You're not on the 16. Cool, thank you. Hey, not in, but hey, it's all good. I had fun, I'm glad that the last thing I did it went real well, so yeah, this is good. It's not been an easy week, has it? Oh, yeah, okay. I don't really know what to say apart from um, congratulations, you're on the 16. Thank you, thank you guys. Throughout the week, Katie was consistently good in her dancing, but lacked personality. However, she came to the fore on the last day with a sizzling salsa. But with only eight places left to be filled, will it have been too late? Yesterday, you really came out of your shell. Um, and I wished I had have seen you do that in the other dance forms. But yesterday's is what saved you. So congratulations, you're through to the final 16. <laughs> <laughs> Tamati came into the competition with only two months dancing experience and he hit the bottom ten. However, his eagerness to learn has made him a favourite with the choreographers. It's been a joy having you uh, as part of the competition. Um, you've got a long way to go to even be considered. So you must know, of course, that you're, you know, you're not going into the final 16, but you have to keep on dancing. I'll, I'll tell you what, dancing, what is dancing? Dan dancing? <laughs> Is the vertical expression of horizontal desire. Yes, well, Leo's had an up and down week. He was named one of the bottom ten, but redeemed himself in the hip hop. Now he and partner Bonnie have been lucky enough to draw their specialty, the salsa. I'm sorry, Bonnie. Uh, your brilliance in ballroom and Latin didn't manage to uh, save you. You are not in our 16. Oh, thank you. So Bonnie's out. How will Leo fare? I would like to know, have you, have you managed to date every girl in the show yet? <laughs> no, <laughs> not, not everyone. Right. There's a couple left. So basically, you need a little bit more time. Just, just a little bit more time. Congratulations, Matt. You're on 16. Ah, oh, thank you. Yeah! Well, a little bit nervous right now. It's been a bit of a build up this week for this, so it's kind of, and when you're a bit fatigued as well, the kind of build up's kind of emotional, but. I'll get through it, <laughs> yep. Anita has drawn her favourite, contemporary, but the judgement will be made on her week's work, not just this dance. Anita, I'm looking more performance from you. Mm -hmm. What I'm looking is, you know, champagne and caviar and what I get is milk and cookies. <laughs> okay. I'm saying that, I think you're still fabulous. Congratulations, <laughs> you're in the 16. Victory is sweet as hip hop Koro and his partner Christy are hoping to find out. However, Michael has a message for both of them. You won't be coming forward to the final 16. Okay.
that I am a little disappointed in myself. Um, just, yeah, just the, just damn, damn. With only 16 people going through, inevitably a lot would be disappointed. Sorry, you won't be coming through till the final 16. Sorry mate, you're not in the 16th. Unfortunately, you won't be going through to the final 16. Sorry, you won't be coming through to the final 16. Getting a bit of the shakes going, but hopefully that'll give me the, um, the adrenaline to push through. I mean, this is what the week's been building up for. Jazz dancer Sharnika has drawn the difficult contemporary routine. So will she have done enough during the week to get through? There's no doubt that you are the best jazz dancer in this competition. Contemporary still needs work, you still need to find the release and everything's a little bit too placed at the moment. You've got a lot to work on and you're going to be able to work on those as you continue in the competition with us, so congratulations. Thank you very much, thank you. Oh my god, I'm shaking. It was great, oh my god. Yeah, so I'm so happy. I'm stoked, I'm shaking. <laughs> I can't speak properly. <laughs> 16-year-old Joseph is another jazz dancer who's drawn contemporary. He's a young talent with a bright future, but will he achieve his dream of being in the top 16? I feel what's missing is any kind of projection, any kind of personality um, or performance is lacking in what you do. So you won't be coming forward into the final 16 for us? The comments that they gave me were like, not relevant to me at all, I think, so. <laughs> I know, I I don't know. Joseph is clearly disappointed, but in show business, you have to learn to take the knocks as well as the accolades. Just lack the fire and passion of a really saucy jazz piece, so you won't be coming forward into our final 16. Yeah. Ballroom dancer Tobias and hip hopper Hannah also had a bad rap from Michael. The qualities of your dancing didn't uh, register with all of us as a, a unison group, so unfortunately you won't be going through to the final 16. Dan has been the man most of the week, but the day hasn't started well. I had some bad eggs this morning and some crappy mushrooms, so they're kind of doing some funny stuff in my stomach at the moment. And I've probably got oh, between four or five hours sleep, so yeah, I'm not feeling 100% today. Hopefully it won't affect his performance. He also has to redeem himself for turning up to contemporary class hungover, but there is no doubt he is a talent to be reckoned with. That was a lovely performance of Louis' routine there. It was great. The dynamics were really strong. If there's a quality of your dancing that's missing, and I have to say it's, your dancing's wonderful, um, is a natural sense of line, of form, the shape of the movement. Daniel, you have a um, really nice masculine quality in your dancing. You always had some fabulous training and you don't really buckle under pressure, so congratulations. Well done. You're in the 16. Sorry. And there's more talent on show in the shape of 19-year-old Sangtip. The contemporary that you did today has uh, justified our decision to put you into the final 16. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Excellent. Throughout the week, Michaela had difficulty remembering choreography, but when she got it, she impressed. Will she impress the judges today? For me, I, I, I love your dancing. I think your focus and attention as a dancer needs a lot of work. Michaela, you uh, ballroom and Latin really wasn't that good. Um, but we all believe that um, you should be in the 16, so congratulations. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yep, I got through. So cool. I'm so excited. <sighs> so it's down to 17-year-old tap dancer Jason, who is last up today. Will he be lucky last? You are a natural. You are desperately lacking in training. You've got through to the final 16 on your natural talent. Yes! Oh, thank you so much. At the end of the most gruelling week of their lives, these talented 16 dancers have made it through to the studio round.
Well, next week it's lights, camera, action, and believe me, once you get to the studio, there is no room for nerves. From now on in, our top 16 dancers will literally be dancing to save their lives. Because each week, two dancers will be eliminated from our competition. When we're down to our final four, it's your turn. Your vote will decide who will become our first So You Think You Can Dance champion. We'll see you next week. Woo!